form affinity. Where the dying takes form. Hey guys, welcome to another form affinity video. Um, in today's video, I've got an exciting update to the config for you. Uh, we are in version 3.2. Um, but before we get to that, a uh, quick shout out to all of you guys uh, for supporting and downloading the, the config. Um, it's been awesome to get your, your feedback and your comments, so thank you so much for that. Also, um, thanks to everyone who's uh, given me uh, coding advice and tested the config up to this point. Um, that's been super helpful. And yeah, so let's get started. Um, so in this version, I've added uh, something that's been kind of long awaited is uh, the box selection tool. Uh, let's get on there. Um, has the ability to shift or control to add or subtract from selection. So I've added that to your transform widgets. So if I hold down shift, I can add to a selection. If I hold down control, I can subtract. And then if I hold down both shift and control, it's basically a difference. So for instance, I can um, select the inverse of this, which would be all the other vertices, and then that one deselects. Or for instance, if I've got these two selected, hold down control and shift, and all the opposite are selected. And that works for, you know, rotate and scale. So that's really cool um, and exciting to have. And then also this, uh, this next update uh, was requested by quite a few people and um, it took a while to implement, but it is your, your 3D cursor uh, toggle button. So rather than just having it up in, up in here where you have to pop this down each time, I've made a nice button um, here so I can toggle it that way. So it's very accessible. Um, I almost made this into a checkbox like you see here so you'd have like a little checkbox here um, let me know what you guys think about that I think um, since the re real estate in the in the toolbar here is there um, I figured a, a larger button would be kind of nice because it's it's just easier to click on than a checkbox um, and then the other thing was the hotkey so I've added uh, just D, D as in dog, for the hotkey for that. Um, so if you want to use the button or if you want to use the hotkey, those are both there. The hotkey may change in the future. R remember going back to Maya, uh, holding down D I think uh, allowed you to move the, the origin. Um, so I'm playing, uh, playing around with that idea. Um, I don't know if it will ever get implemented because it's pretty advanced coding. But um, it's just a thought, but for now, the D uh, just shows and hides that. Another thing worth mentioning is uh, within the version 3.2 config folder, uh, I've added uh, an updates log. So if you click on that, you can see uh, what version you're in, uh, the date, um, and then the things that are have been added to that particular uh, version. So I'd like to keep keep on with this sort of uh, tradition um, in future updates, so that if you know if you miss the YouTube video or um, you, you forgot what what this version what the additions are, you can just check there. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this update. Um, let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see. I'll be happy to try to implement that. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.